I never even bought dope. Uh, there was so much floating around. You just, <laughs> <laughs> they were all selling dope. I didn't get in that game, but I certainly took it when they handed it to me. Um, yeah, so a lot of stuff was free. A lot of stuff was cheap. Uh, the great thing about the hippies is um, even the ones who didn't have to pretended to be poor. I was sort of one of those. I lived in a $20 a month apartment in North Beach, if you can imagine that <laughs> these days. Um, and, and you point out a wonderful thing in the book, which I, I can recommend. Um, from time to time, I would write my mother. I'm, he's read all these letters <laughs> that I wrote my mother from camp on. And my God, what's in there? Uh, but part of why I was doing it was um, at the end of these very informative uh, family letters, I would say, oh, by the way, do you think you could maybe send uh, $100 uh, uh, whenever it's convenient? <laughs> and she would do that. And so I was just sort of in a trickling way subsidized. And, and I'll, I'll wrap on this. So it meant that I didn't have to get a job. Yeah. And the thing that Brian Eno yeah. says to art students now routinely is, uh, you're going to go out of here and you, and you can't make money yet, probably, at what you really want to do. And you're going to be tempted to get a job. Please don't do that. <laughs> because if you do that, and then you see something or somebody, or you have an idea, or there's an opportunity to go somewhere, you won't be able to act on it and you need to be able to act on things right away. And so don't have a job. And thanks to my mother and that little subsidy that came along from time to time by request, I was able to not have a job and not have a career.